So this is uh, July 3rd, 2020, about 150 yards off of uh, Delray Beach Water Sports and the Seagate uh, Beach Club. And this is where the wreck of the Inchalda is. So I swam out to check it out. And lo and behold, I ran into a school of tarpon. And these fish are five to six feet long each. They're huge. <laughs> And you really can't tell from the video. You've got to get some perspective on it. Um, you can look out into the vast blueness of the water and see them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Probably about 15 individuals were swimming around the wreck. And that's the boiler there that you just saw. And I'm coming around. There they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see they're just kind of hanging out about a eh, hundred feet away from the wreck, which is filled with fish. And I'm sure what they're doing is eating them. And, uh, and they're just kind of like chilling. They're not really even afraid of me. I mean, I can swim right down and right close up to them. And uh, here's a little perspective too. You can see the boiler and you can see the size of the fish. Now the boiler is probably... I don't know, 15 feet across. So this will give you some perspective of how big these uh, tarpon are. Here's two individuals slowly moving towards the uh, towards the wreck. And I think in a second here, here's a big one right here. I tried to get close enough to them so you can see them. But look over here, you can see how big they are compared to the wreck. That's about 15 feet across. So those are at least four to five feet there, those, those fish. And um, so they were out there the whole time I was out there. You can get another good shot of them here. And they're just waiting. I'm going to show you some of the bait fish that are on, uh, the, uh, on the wreck here in a second. Here's the paddle board. I've got to make sure my uh, paddle doesn't fall. Over. And here's the boiler. And you can see there's an abundant amount of uh, fish on the boiler. And... Uh, this is probably one of the reasons you're seeing so many tarp in there, because they're trying to pick them off and eat them. There's a stingray down here. Let's take a look at him. He was about six feet long. He's kind of buried in the sand, just chilling. And if you look up to the left, you'll see a barracuda swimming through there. So there's all kinds of animals out there if you want to have a nice adventure. Just uh, grab a snorkel and mask and rent them from Delray Beach Water Sports. You can even rent a paddleboard too. Here's a big bunch of fish. I'm going to scatter them a little bit. And that guy's just waiting. He's just waiting to get some free dinner. <laughs> and that's the uh, that's the wreck of the Anjolva. Sometimes I'm using, what I'm using is not a GoPro. I'm using a knockoff. Uh, it's called, a, I think, a Dragon Touch which costs 35 bucks on Amazon, <laughs> much cheaper, uh, one-tenth the price of a GoPro. And it works pretty good. I mean, it's not the best camera in the world, but these are pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, video of these animals. The wreck's kind of buried now, but um, as you can see, there's still a bunch of stuff out there. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on doing stuff in Delray Beach, kite surfing, paddle surfing, paddle boarding, snorkeling, free diving, just plain having fun. <laughs>